Hello everyone, I haven't uploaded any videos for a while and today was I was thinking that uh, I will make some video and, and upload that for the, for the viewers. Uh, so we are talking about tank review video and I was thinking what, what kind of tank I will put the, the gameplay and review and well I choose one of the top of the three tech trees what are in right now and my I choose the D54 light wave so it is the tier 9 lightweight tank from Arasa and it's a tech 3 tank which is currently on the tech, uh, top of the tree so everybody can grind it pretty fastly and uh, enjoy it uh, like Previous videos, I start with uh, some specs. Armor, and now, now I'm looking this uh, point of view of the lightweight tank. And in that point of view, this this has pretty good armor. And in at the gameplay, you you see that it did bounce now and then pretty high penetration shots from my enemy, and, and it, it works surprisingly well uh, let's put that way it's I, I am amazed sometimes what kind of bouncing it, it can make especially when when the distance is uh, bigger to enemy who is shooting me but uh, it's it's not a, a frontline tank don't you, you cannot go in in front with the heavies and uh, start the trading and bouncing enemy shots but uh, with the as a light tank and uh, what is the light tank's uh, role it, it's pretty good armored tank uh, let's talk about firepower about alpha penetration reload and so on uh, this isn't the best in this class it, it, I, let's say that uh, especially on the uh, mm, starter dominations the penetration is pretty lousy. Uh, I, I have to spend a lot of uh, cold ammunition if I want to make sure that my shots are penetrating, and still I don't penetrate those those cold ammunition shots. Alpha damage isn't that uh, special. It's more lower tier, or let's say tier seven tanks. Uh, alpha damage is, and reloading or DPM is. Uh, pretty okay, but yeah, firepower isn't that good. It, it could be I, I would give well I give that a three star, but it could be also to two star. So it's not special. But again, if I'm uh, look that at the point of view of the light tanks, it's it's decent, but not not special. About gun handling, accurate dispersion factions and snapshots and derby or snapshots or, or it's derby. Uh, I will give this a four star because uh, it's a Russian tag, so uh, you can get those amazing hazy snapshots, snot shots uh, now and then, and they you just hit them every time. But in another hand, uh, like you're gonna see in the uh, that gameplay, uh, fully aimed shots doesn't hit anything, and so on. And so so yeah. In some cases, uh, again, I'm amazed how, how good it is. No, those uh, snapshots and everything hits, and sometimes you don't hit anything almost on the point break range. But on overall, I will give this a four star. Uh, mobility, mobility uh, speed, and agility. Well, it is. Uh, after all, light tank, it's it's not the same as EBRs, but uh, if we are talking about uh, tanks which are going with um, which are not the wheeled vehicles, uh, this is pretty decent. And uh, I don't remember that there's any any uh, situation where where I'm going to struggle with the mo mobility and, and speed and so on. Uh, it, can reach almost 70 kilometers per hour, and uh, I, I can get uh, places from A to B pretty fast, and so on. So I will give the four star for that one. 
uh, features we are talking about camo and v rings and constraints uh three star or in some cases i would give even only two star uh we are talking about russian tanks so gun depression is very bad uh, view range is decent with the uh, right equipments and so on it can reach that maximum view range and the camos are not a bad but not the not the best ones so it's something in the middle if if i could have uh this rating two and a half star it, it would be closer to that than this three star about uh, feelings or wipes vibes what i get when i'm playing this uh pretty okay i, I enjoy it i will give three star it reminds me a lot of the bigger brother of that so that's the t54 medium tank and same goes to the t55 and uh uh, what are the similar tanks? And uh, th those are amazing tanks for me because in the paper they doesn't look not so fancy. I don't like them all at the paper, but when I start to play with them, I, I found myself to enjoy of them, and and I, I get pretty decent score when I'm playing those Russian heavies. Uh, but again, in the paper, very bad uh, gun depression and so on. So. They, they on the paper to me they are very bad things, but in the, in reality it's a different kind of story. Uh, special notes about this tank. What can, uh, I would uh, raise up. Uh, it is pretty flexible and mobile, but the camera should be or could be a better. It's not the bad baddest one, but it could be a better. I put that way. It has. Good armor for the light tank. Again, it's not the same. The armor layout or the thickness of the uh, armor isn't the same as the T54 medium, but uh, for the light tanks, it's pretty good. I mean, in some cases, very good. I, I, I am amazed what kind of thing, uh, shots, enemy shots I can bounce with that, that thing. Uh, well, Bad thing about this tank, Russian gun depression. So I totally don't remember. Was it uh, five or six degrees or something like that? It's it's very bad. But again, if you, uh, well, it depends what kind of role you take on this tank. Is is that a problem or not? Uh, when you are take it, uh, you start to play with this tank as. Uh, uh, not a sniper tank. You you are more more like a silent brawler or something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of gun person you have. In in when you get the the right feeling when you are playing this tank. The one of the bad things or the mo most of the bad things of this tank is the uh, ammunition specs. They are not great. As in, in reality, we are talking about this gun is all pretty much same as the in specs wise as the tier seven or eight tanks specs. So they are not a great one. But in other hand, uh, the expectation, expectation values of these tanks are pretty low. So this isn't not so hard to mark this tank. And uh, if you can deliver some kind of let's say 2000 damages uh, it's very good on this tank so it it is compensated with those expectation values but in the, when we are talking about tier 9 tanks it's it's not so great and final words of this tank uh, it's very interesting tank because it's some kind of hybrid with the, between the medium and light tank. It's it's not a uh, pure light tank in in that sense. When when we are talking about, for example, uh, French light tanks, which are very good cool in scouting and uh, spotting and something like that. Uh, it's not it, it's not a pure as those for in that. Uh, that situation, but uh, in other hand, it's the armor layout and so on. It's not the same as medium tanks, so it's something between those. And when you find the uh, 
uh, how, the way how you, you should play this tank, it's pretty amazing because uh, it has those luxury things what the light tanks have, which is uh, the gamma values are not dropping when it's moving. So if you take uh, get this uh, sneaky moment or this role when you are playing that that you are uh, going for uh, in the front and you want a spot and same times you want to do do some bad things to the enemy tanks uh, as a medium tank you can do those uh, with the pros what you get with the light tanks values which are that they they doesn't discover you when you are moving. That's a one one big thing. What is in the light tanks uh, uh, basic features? So this tank gets it. Uh, yeah, that that's a that's very interesting tank, and I I like it a lot. It's I like this more than the uh, when we are talking about those hybrid uh, tanks. There's uh, those heavy tanks. Uh, Object four thirty. Uh, tier 10 tank, as far as I remember, it's hybrid between heavy tank and the medium tank, and that's something what, what I haven't learned so well. Or, or it's it's it, it I can find the good things about that that tanks, but it's to me it's what's much harder to make it work. But with this tank, uh, I I can find myself to do very good games, and I enjoy a lot. Yeah. In overall, I will give this uh, a three stars out of five. Uh, it's very good tank. I enjoy it, and uh, now it's it's in the top of three. I I haven't had that this tank at my this uh, account. I had with the previous uh, account what I have also what I have played uh, many many years ago. And to be honest, I I haven't played this let's say for uh, until four or five years i i grind it to me again on this this uh, account i have played about 60 games or something uh, and uh, yeah I, I like it a lot and i'm i'm looking for the play a lot lot of more and to me tier 7 is a sweet uh, sorry tier 9 is a, a sweet spot in the tier so it very it's very enjoyable in those in those cases uh, about the gameplay, so I have one gameplay uh, on this D54 lightweight, and a couple of words of this this uh, gameplay. It's a cliff map, and uh, uh, I show you, or uh, well, show you a show, but in this this uh, battle, I will not play as a normal uh, light tank. What what they should play? They, they should take a hill. But right away when I see that there's a two light tanks and I assume that that elk is going to go in the uh, hill, so it's there's no point me to go the hill too. Most uh, stupid thing to do in a battle where is uh, more than white, one light tank is that the, uh, all the light tanks are going the same same position and spot the same things. That's one of the most stupid thing what the light tanks can do. So uh, right away when when I'm starting this. Uh, battle i will check where the elk is going and uh, i have uh when my so myself i had that mo uh, mode that i'm going to go in front and do the nasty things to the enemy so so i am going to go the e2 e3 position and start to flank enemies so yeah that's a uh, things what the normally the medium tanks are doing and so i i'm taking a more as a medium tank role and this this light tank this t54 lightweight ltvt and uh, it works pretty fine uh, again this is good example also that uh, this isn't the best one i haven't selected the best the gameplay for me i i do some mistakes which is uh natural to do and so on and yeah but the overall record is pretty well and let's go let's go why don't it go start oh, yeah. okay let's put some sounds to there and 